to A level chemistry. Our topic for today is carboxylic acids and their derivatives. So in our AS levels we studied the homologous series of carboxylic acids. So carboxylic acids are characterized by the C single bonded to an oxygen which is single bonded to a hydrogen so this is an OH group so this group is called a carboxylic acid group and um, that's what we studied in our AS levels and our IGCSEs so in this unit what we will be discussing is the, the, the compounds that are derived from carboxylic acids and our main focus of these compounds are going to be acyl fluorides which are the C O O C L uh, not O sorry uh, C O and here we have C L so instead of an instead of an OH group we have a chlorine atom so this is an acyl fluoride so for example if I have a CH3 CH2 here I have this is this is called propanoic acid uh, prop because we have three carbon atoms in the main chain and uh, prop, uh, propanoic acid uh, so it's acid because of the carboxylic acid group so it becomes P R O P A O N So this becomes propanoic acid and this if we attach the same CH3 CH2 group over here then this becomes propanoyl chloride so the name is different you have to know the naming we have the same prop because three carbon atoms in the main chain and instead of anoic, which is here, we have anoil, so propen oil fluoride. So this is an acyl fluoride, and uh, so we know the naming now, how to name these uh, compounds, so we can move further. So the acidity of carboxylic acids. So why are they called acids? Because uh, when we, uh, uh, if you remember, when we studied the Bronsted-Lowry definition of an acid, we know that acids are proton donors. So what happens is, let me take the same propanoic acid. When I add it to water, reaction so I get a carboxylate ion so this is called the propanoate ion And with, along with this, I get a hydronium ion, which is H3O plus hydronium. So basically, what happens here is that my propanoic acid molecule donates an H plus ion to the water molecule. So since the water molecule receives a proton here, it acts as a base. And because the propanoic acid donates a proton, it acts as an acid. So 
we have an acid over here. We have, we have a propanoic ion over here because the propanoic acid has lost a proton. And we have a hydronium ion over here because the water molecule.